So I spend a lot of time in this position. It's called transverse because it's not symmetrical, it's trans, it's, it, it's, um, my brain's not working because it's Monday, um, but because it's across the body, transverse, that's it, across the body, transverse. So the left arm is up and across, the right arm is up. Um, we're employing all sorts of different muscles in opposing ways as opposed to if you're playing a clarinet where it's in front of the body and everything is kind of parallel or trumpets or you know one of those instruments you know so the flute and the violin which you play like this um, are transverse they're across the body so we get all sorts of spasms in weird places we get um, massage therapists actually have names for um, our different uh, ailments. One of them is the flute knot that's on the uh, rhomboid uh, here below the, um, next to the supraspinatus, um, or I'm sorry, below the supraspinatus. The supraspinatus is where I get um, one bad one right there, and then the rhomboid. Um, and then the, the teres uh, major and minor are really bad on the right side, and then on the left side just the whole the whole stack here but um in my pitch challenge we have this great exercise where we put our hands to the wall like i guess like we've been arrested and we put the hands up well last week i was dying with the rhomboid spasm i was just dying and i can't reach it i mean it's it's right below my finger and i keep forgetting to bring the racquetball or the tennis ball so that i can roll it so I was doing all sorts of things. I was reaching down on the piano bench and stretching it. And I said, let me try some of the My Big Challenge stuff. And I found that when I did this in the left arm, because of playing, does not want to go against the wall. But I found, get down there, doing this stretch really helps all that up in here. So thank you, John. Thank you, Sam. <sighs> Don't thank you, Theobald Baum, and all you guys who made the flute a transverse instrument. Because this sucks. Oh my God. Oh.